Did you know that according to Einstein's theory of relativity, as an object approaches the speed of light, time for that object appears to slow down from the perspective of an observer at rest. This mind-bending phenomenon suggests that time actually stops for something traveling at the speed of light. The theory also proposes that as an object accelerates towards the speed of light, its mass increases, requiring an infinite amount of energy to reach that ultimate speed. This cosmic speed limit of light, 299,792,458 meters per second, is not just a barrier for speed, but a threshold where time itself seems to freeze. Light, the cosmic speedster cruising through space at a mind-boggling 186,000 miles per second, it's like the flash of the universe, leaving everything else in its dust. But here's where it gets wild. According to Einstein's mind-blowing theories of relativity, time isn't a steadfast constant. It's a shapeshifter, slowing down or speeding up depending on where you're standing and how fast you're moving. Now here's the big question that's about to blow your mind. Does time actually hit pause when you reach the speed of light? Imagine a photon, the rock star of light particles, zipping through space at light speed. For this particle, time is just a spectator sport. No ticking of the clock, no aging. But, and it's a big but, this timelessness is just for the photon not for us mere mortals. Einstein dropped the bombshell that space and time might just be illusions conjured up by our brains. It's not just some mystical mumbo-jumbo. Even the scientific maestro himself was convinced. Now, let's delve into the relativity of time. Picture this, a light second, the distance light travels in one second. For the photon, it's a breeze. No time, no sweat. But for us, mere mortals observing this journey, a second ticks away. It's like time is playing tricks on us, a cosmic illusion where the rules change based on your perspective. Now, could we, in our human-made spaceships, ever experience this time-stopping phenomenon? Theoretically, yes. But, and there's always a but, reality slaps us with a double whammy. First, we'd need an acceleration that defies the laws of physics, 186,000 miles per second. It's like asking a snail to break the land speed record. And here's the second hurdle, the energy conundrum. Accelerating anything to the speed of light requires an energy feast that would put a black hole to shame. Think infinite energy demands. So despite our best sci-fi dreams, we're not hopping into warp speed spaceships anytime soon. But fear not, intrepid explorers, because science is on the case. Scientists are out there burning the midnight oil, figuring out how to bend space-time itself. They're playing with exotic matter, negative forces, and all sorts of mind-bending concepts to potentially shoot us across the cosmos at speeds that would make your head spin. The quest for the ultimate acceleration is on, and who knows what secrets they'll unlock. But wait, does light even have a speed? At the photon level, time takes a nap. We can't peek into their world and see if they're sipping cosmic coffee as they speed through space. It's a mystery within a mystery, and the more we unravel, the more questions pop up. About 100 years ago, Einstein rocked the scientific boat by declaring that the speed of light is the ultimate speedster in the universe. It's the one constant the cosmic speed limit, if you will. But here's the cosmic twist. In the microscopic realm of light particles, things get a little wonky. Velocity, that measure of speed, isn't a straightforward constant. It's relative with the observer's perspective. Now let's talk about time velocities, the distance a light particle covers in a certain time. Sounds simple, right? But space might not be as linear as our earthly brains imagine. Physicists crunch numbers, but they're like space detectives starting their investigations from the edges of the universe, edges we're not even sure exist. And if you're a regular here or a subscriber, you know we've been buzzing about the James Webb Space Telescope. Well, it's dropping truth bombs challenging our theories about measuring distances using light shifts. Are there galaxy-sized curveballs in our understanding of the cosmos? Either we made a cosmic oopsie or the Big Bang Theory needs a bit of a rethink. Now, let's chat about light on Earth. Experiments tell us it travels at a certain speed, but here's the kicker. We don't fully understand the cosmic nature of our universe. When light traverses thin matter, it takes a mini-siesta 
slowing down ever so slightly. So who's to say the speed of light doesn't throw a curveball in some unknown cosmic corner? Einstein might have thought it was a steadfast constant, but enter quantum physics and photons and things get a bit topsy-turvy. It seems that in the microscopic dance of particles, light plays hooky with being in one place at a time. And here's a cosmic bombshell. Space could be a massive holographic projection. We're talking next level sci-fi stuff. The connection between the world of light and the material realm is still shrouded in mystery. And researchers are on a cosmic quest for answers. Now buckle up for the phenomenon of time dilation. Imagine a photon bouncing between two mirrors. Cosmic ping pong. The time between bounces is always constant, thanks to the speed of light being a universal rock star. Now, picture a guy having his lunch break, sipping coffee, munching on a roll. A leisurely 100 time unit. At the same time, NASA astronauts are zipping through space at half the speed of light in a spacecraft joyride. Here's where it gets mind-bending. The guy in the cafe and the astronauts have clocks ticking away at the same length of time intervals. The astronauts, oblivious to their high-speed escapade, see the guy whizzing by at half the speed of light. But wait! From the guy's perspective, he's just chilling at the cafe, oblivious to his cosmic sprint. Relativity physics throws a curveball, making it impossible to say whose time is ticking at the correct speed. The time shift is real for the astronauts, even if the guy isn't actually rocketing through space. Now picture this from the spaceship's perspective. The photon is still doing its bounce dance, but because of the spaceship's speed, the guy in the cafe seems to be moving in an extended angle. To the astronauts, the photon's journey looks longer, yet the speed of light remains the same for both the guy and the spaceship. Confused? Welcome to the phenomenon called time dilation. Let's break it down a bit more. Imagine you're made of matter, and matter is basically charged particles, electrons and quarks. These particles, doing their forceful dance, exchange photons, creating electromagnetism. This force is behind everything, from forming elements to the dance of life itself. Now as our guy in the cafe zooms past the spaceship, not only do the photons in his clock tick slower, but the very photons driving his body's electromagnetism slow down too. From the spaceship's view, it's like hitting the slow motion button on the guy's life. His hand moving to his mouth during lunch? Slower. His heartbeat? A leisurely pace. Even cell division takes a cosmic siesta. Now, if the spaceship were to reach light speed, this time delay would be so extreme that, from Earth's perspective, our guy's heartbeat and breathing would practically hit pause. But here's the mind-blowing part. While the spaceship sees the guy in slow motion, not much changes for our Earth dweller. His heart beats on, lunch gets eaten, and life goes on. It's like time has different speeds depending on where you're sitting in the cosmic theater. Now picture this phenomenon on long space flights. Scientists are still scratching their heads about how time dilation might affect astronauts cruising through the cosmos. Are we missing a dimension of time, or is there more to the cosmic clock than we understand? And here's a wild twist in the cosmic tale. Researchers are tinkering with light itself. At Imperial College in London, they've slowed down light by a mind-blowing factor of 15 million, making it crawl at 66 feet per second. Imagine if we could slow down light to match our own speed. Cue the cosmic drumroll. Light gates that could unravel the secrets of time and space. Are we on the brink of building our own stargates? Now we want to hear from you, cosmic thinkers. What do you make of the fascinating interplay of light and time? Could light be the cosmic key to unlocking the secrets of the universe? Share your cosmic musings in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more cosmic adventures.